My question is whether or not there is an incons inherent cons inconsistency between your statement that uh, there's no inherent meaning in life and uh, the writer's task of communicating an archetypal meaning um, through the climax. Well, I don't know whether the meaning uh, that a writer is trying to express in a story needs to be an archetypal meaning. Arch archetypal meaning um, is something so grand and so um, and so universal, um, but that that um, that it, it's true in every society and every in every period in history. But uh, many of the meanings that writers express, of course, are very specific uh, to the time and place of the story. Um, and um, the, the, the differences between uh, controlling ideas, uh, whether they're archetypal or more ironized and very uh, specific, is in the hows and the whys things happen. I and mean, what a story says, the meaning of a story is how and why life changes. Now, the way in which life changes, uh, those tend to be fairly generic. I mean, things are either you know, positive or negative, ironically positive or ironically negative. They involve core values like love or justice or meaning, um, whatever. And, um, and so the number or the varieties of um, p charges of value at the end of the story you know, is limited to the number of core values in life and, um, and the, the degrees of positive or negative that they can be. But what is infinite in its variety is how and why people do the things they do that gets them to that climactic uh, charge of value uh, in whatever story. And, um, um, and so the, the meaning of a story can be very specific and not archetypal. But yes, to get to the heart of the question, uh, because life is intrinsically meaningless, <clears throat> we are on this planet no matter what uh, people of faith may believe, uh, from my point of view, um, as a, um, an accident of nature. Uh, the earth could have been uh, lifeless, or it could have had life. That life uh, could have remained unconscious and genetically driven or conscious uh, the way it is for us, poor human beings. It's an accident. And consequently, there's no intrinsic meaning. Uh, and because of that, the mind has, since it became conscious, uh, tried to, uh, to tell stories, tried to take the incidences of life and uh, shape them into a story that expresses how and why things happen in order to discover uh, within life uh, meanings. Uh, it doesn't mean it has to be an inspirational meaning. It could be a very bitter and dark truth, um, but it's a truth. And we're just trying to figure out how and why our lives change the way they do. And that's what the storyteller does, is they, they take life uh, and create story out of it to express uh, meaning and in an emotional way. Um, there, there, you know, the, the statement, that the, my statement, that there is no intrinsic meaning to life, I mean, that may be a bit rhetorical. I, 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 can, I can think of a meaning. Here's a meaning that I think is intrinsic uh, to life. Uh, human beings suffer. Life suffers everywhere, and human beings, because they're conscious, suffer in, in, in extraordinary ways. There's suffering everywhere in the world. This is a bad thing. This is something we do not want. We would want for our fellow human beings uh, to... Um, to uh, live life in, uh, in peace with uh, little or no suffering, right? And so forth. Anything you can do as a human being that somehow helps uh, diminish the amount of suffering in the world is a good thing and a meaningful thing. I believe that the telling of story beautifully and truthfully and powerfully helps human beings understand how and why life changes and therefore they suffer less by having some sense of meaning. And so one way you can overcome the meaninglessness of life is to express meaning in a beautiful way in your story, and as a result, human beings live more beautifully, uh, <clears throat> having experienced your story 
than they did without it. And that, that's meaningful.